Okay, y'all, here goes another email question. Why am I never able to keep male chickens or roosters together without them trying to fight and kill each other all the time? That's a really good question. Let's dig right into it. Now, a lot of folks will say that roosters are easy to keep together as long as you don't have a female in the immediate flock. Now, while that still holds true, it's just a tiny bit more complicated than that. If you head over to our member section, you'll find an experiment that we posted for our members to try just to show how powerful our rooster's ears really are. And with that being said, you're going to have to keep your hens more than just out of sight with the roosters. They're going to have to be able to not hear the hens as well before you'll be problem free in your cocky flop. Now it's just as easy to keep multiple roosters together peacefully as it is keeping multiple hens together peacefully. Roosters are just a little more complicated when there's ladies around. Even though they can't see them, they can definitely hear them. Especially when they're singing that almighty egg song. <laughs> now, if you're really liking all the information you're getting in my videos, then you're going to love my new book, The Poultry Scrolls. The Poultry Scrolls is the only book you'll ever need to raise a healthy flock of chickens. Y'all go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, normally when you keep roosters together and there's no hens around, most of the time, all you'll get is what you see here, what we call PSI, Personal Space Invasion. This is just where one rooster wants to be a tough guy and take another rooster's food. It usually lasts only a couple of seconds with no bloodshed. It's just pretty much a wrestle or a tussle. Now, it usually never gets worse than that unless one is actually sick or gets weak from disease or wounded. Then every rooster in the house is going to attack them until they either die or you rescue them and put them in quarantine. But as long as you follow our space rule, roosters can live together peacefully without ever injuring each other. Now the basis of that rule is you want to allow each rooster about three square feet whenever you have them inside. And that will avoid most of that cocky guy taking each other's food kind of situation and most roosters in that situation won't feel so crowded. Now it's always recommended if you're going to keep same sex flocks to start them off at an early age and let them all grow up together. And understand that there's always going to be a pecking order regardless of what type of flock you have. So every time you add a new bird, that gets destroyed and then the pecking order has to be reestablished. And I can tell you now, not every bird you add to the existing flock is going to be accepted. Sometimes it does end in death. So to make it easier on yourself, always start your same sex flock at a very early age and keep them exclusive. Now for more great information like you found in this video, non-GMO heirloom garden seed, our handmade goat milk soap, and so many more homestead items, just head on over to yougrowfood.com. We'll see you over there. Y'all keep on keeping on. We'll do our best to see you on the next one.